Hold on. If you can see me or hear me, uh, we're on our uh, front yard, our front deck, our back deck actually. This is the view of one of my favorite surf spots. The wind came up. Mm -hmm. So we just got out of the water, wet suitless. It says I have 14 viewers, so maybe, uh, am I coming in? This is uh, how you short circuit the matrix. Surf spots, the wind came up. All right, cool. So it looks like we are live. You want to come out again or no? I was wanting to get the queen bee, Miss Pregnant Princess, transitioning into the queen to give the announcements that we're going to say because she's got that feminine fire and she knows how to explain it, but she's looking at me skeptical. Timothy, what do you think Deanna, if she did come out, what she would, what would she say? Um, well, all I know is here we are at our home base for October and we're inviting you to come join us. Someone out there, maybe it's just one of you, maybe it's two of you, that want to come learn what the day, what a day in the lifestyle of the Rob Ross like. All right, let's do this real bullet pointed. So you're saying the first thing we're going to tell you about is the one all in idea. Yeah. Where I have done this now with Dylan Maxwell Blau, the dog trainer, Angel Johnson Scott, who you know, who was on our recent podcast, definitely check that out because we're going to be teaming up with her at the end of the month. But in the meantime, Timothy and I decided to invest in a creative space that is definitely a dream come true. Um, getting healthy from the inside out. And so now let's start on that announcement. Now, if someone wants to live with us yes, sir. and get their pro passion project and freedom catalyzed by not only us, but by the queen bee who's being extra elusive right now, she's also pregnant, so she has that excuse. And then basically, personal message, me or Timothy ASAP. Yes. You want to learn how to surf, you want to learn how to build a business, you want to learn how to get in shape. Or if you want to live in a spot for a week, roughly a week of what I would definitely say countless millionaires would dream to live here. And it doesn't take a million dollars, that's the interesting thing. Wow. It might take some courage, it might take some action right now. I, I, that's one thing I did feel led I wanted to talk about in this video, Timothy, is yeah. What do you think um, about the idea of delaying action? Like how fast we made this um, move yeah. to make the spot? How integral has that been for making your dreams come true over the years? Well, I'll tell you, out, of, of, out of the bunch of the retreats that we posted, I would say the ones that we delayed making decisions on, those are the ones that did not happen. So I'm realizing, um, yeah, take that leap of faith and good things are bound to happen. There's this idea that I think was definitely popularized by uh, Napoleon Hill, which was that successful people decide quickly and rarely change their mind, while unsuccessful people rarely decide and continuously change their mind. So if you have found yourself in this wishy-washy, like not really balancing, you're on your board of life, you're on your surfboard of life and everything feels wobbly and uneasy and insecure, like I don't know where if I'm going north, south, up or down, east or west. You don't even know where you want to go. Then this, I think, would be a good opportunity for you because um, I'm not saying that we know what we're doing for sure, but I do, I will say that we have, we are um, advanced, fairly advanced at walking by faith and reaping the rewards and making things happen. Mm, somehow. Catalyst. Yeah, somehow that happens with us. All right, so that's the first announcement. If you want to join us here, Oceanfront, Encinitas, Millionaire's Dream without the million dollars, one all in, next project, personal message me. Next announcement, Timothy, what are we doing? Where are we going to take our round trip ticket from over Halloween? <sighs> to Nashville, Tennessee for during the best time of the year to be in Nashville. Actually, be the, the best spot to be at anywhere is probably going to be in the southeast during the foliage season. And I'm finally seeing comments right now. I wasn't seeing the comments earlier. Hey, Michael Fox, Sydney Carter, Dylan. Oh, that water's super clear down there, man. Oh, I like Dylan. Dylan's, Dylan's encouraging people to do this. <laughs> yeah, Dylan, that was a powerful experience. And Oriya is still stoked on it. We're all still stoked on it. Michael Fox, Aloha, sending those good vibes. And yeah, I agree. If you've never seen the foliage, and the transition from fall to winter when it's peaking. I'm, I'm talking about when those trees are basically 
shedding the skin of who they aren't anymore and basically orgasming with every color of the rainbow on the water of the Smoky Mountains on the houseboat. Mm. And you'd believe in the idea of receiving empowerment through empowered horses and that you can't hide or you can't lie. Any kind of emotions that are holding you back from taking action on your dreams, those horses will not only reflect and amplify, but I believe they'll ground and catalyze in you letting go of those, letting go of that as the as the trees will be letting go of the leaves that no longer serve them so they, they can reproduce and spread their love around the world. I think the horses have the very same ability to do that for you. And Vivek, um, I trust that you're safe from Hurricane Matthew over there and you're not too far. I've always I've always wanted you to come on one of our events. Maybe this is it. Maybe bring the family. The set coming in right here. We got a set. Hold on. Timothy Dan has taught me that not everyone cares about looking at waves as much as we do. That is so true. That's so true. <laughs> but for my surfers out there, you know once you catch the stoke, there's no letting go. And from now on, whenever you drive by the ocean, you see the waves. You see which way they're breaking. You see if it's a left or right. You see if the wind is onshore or offshore. And I think that's the same thing that happens with the horses, Timothy. That yes. once you get empowered by this horse, you're going to start driving by farms. You're going to be like, look at that horse. I think that's empowered. Yeah, and the, the horse retreat, it's not going to be all about horse empowerment. It's going to be a great addition to what we've always done on these retreats, which is just being led and creating this, this container of radicalness where transformation can take place and just being led by the Holy Spirit. And then that, uh, yeah, the horses are going to be a great addition, which I'm really excited about learning about. Um, yes. So now it's just me out here, just me and you guys. Are we good with that announcement? So if you want to join us for that, um, and also, actually, our good friend Deanna Deaver, who's a master behind the camera, she's committed to coming and she's going to be producing, I would say, I've worked with a lot of photographers, and Deanna, if you're listening to this, I'm not only saying this to butter your biscuit, but you know I said this when the camera was off too. Somehow this girl produces some of the best like commercial quality photos, almost seemingly accidental. So I'm looking forward to that gold finger. And uh, Thomas Duffy, use the force, use the horse. Mm -hmm. A moment of silence for the set. Did you take a moment of silence? I did, for sure. Thank you. I think I'm gonna grab my camera and do a live video actually, like a short one. All right, cool. And I'll continue here for the other announcements. If you are in Southern California or if you wanna if you definitely believe in the power of surrounding yourself with superheroes like Ryan McKenzie, Darren Olean, Laird Hamilton, Gabby Re Gabrielle Reese, in one of the most powerful vortex areas of the world, Malibu, California, through also one of the best times of the year, October, man, I'll tell you what, October. Where in the world is October not one of the greatest months? Um, Uh-oh, I prefer Wi-Fi, weak Wi-Fi. Oh, Kyle, so, oh, so you're getting strong Wi-Fi right now. I like that, I like that scarcasm. Although that wasn't too much scar, right? it was more like sarcasm. I'll, I'll do the regular word for that, um, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, then check out xptlife.com. Join me in Malibu next weekend and uh, surround yourself with people that you want to be like because it's inevitable. I, that's one of my favorite parts about Encinitas. Yeah, the surf is epic, the weather is epic, but in reality, the neighborhood here is littered with amazingly powerful people. Are there any other announcements, Deanna? I'm gonna. Uh, can I put you on camera without your uh, without your permission? You're you're good. Okay, I got her. I got her. She, yeah, she's gonna analyze me out loud and everything. You ready? You guys ready for this? <laughs> Here she is. What? How long is this? The power been? woman. I don't know. Well, I think you've talked in circles and metaphors for like. 15, 20 minutes. Exactly, but you that's gotta, No, you gotta make sure people wanna listen till the end. Like, if I were to watch this video and click, I wanna know what you're gonna be talking about. I don't wanna be waiting. <laughs> All right, so just demonstrate. Demonstrate it to us. Like, if you start by saying, you know, usually you guys only have one event planned at the time and it's kind of a surprise where it's gonna be and sometimes people are like, well, where's the next and we don't know. And this time you actually got four events. So make it more that linear. That are all very different so you appeal to like everything 
every demographic possible. You got the fitness and nutrition with layered, like extreme fitness. XPTLife.com next with, week in Malibu. And then you got the, the horse empowerment where it's not only what you usually do, but it's more intimate group. Email us at robbraws at gmail.com. This is a good teamwork. Horses that, you know, animals you just can't lie from them that will really reflect And you the met truth. these horses. Oh, they're epic, they're okay. epic. Okay, nice. And then, what's the other one? Then you got the One All In Project if people want the personal, immersive experience of turning your passion project into something that's actually, you know, that's, you want to catalyze this passion pro project. And then there's the International Trout Design in uh, I almost forgot. In January, I know you're uh, speaking in circles. Hey, well, I do want to. I don't. I, I want y'all to know that <laughs> this is a great example. That any man that you perceive to be powerful, that has influence or is great, most likely there's a as strong and arguably stronger woman behind the scenes. I've seen people. Um, I've seen people like with men of influence, and there's other guys. They're like, "Oh, I'm gonna like, get his, I want his autograph. I'm gonna get a picture with him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant a seed to get better business with him." Bro, if you're ignoring his wife, you're missing the whole boat. If you're if you're ignoring the princess, I've seen people like not even pay attention. Let's let's use Laird Hamilton as an example. Like, say people want to really be in touch or be in the presence of Laird. They want to go surfing with him. Uh -huh. Talk to Gabby. <laughs> yeah, but. Still, you get the point. And then you can start going into the depth of what does each one um, involve or... Do you think we did a good job with this video? We got it? Yeah, but you started by talking about like 10 minutes about each thing and people are like, I don't know what I'm waiting for. <laughs> so if you told them in the beginning that there is four different things for whatever, if it's emotional work with horses or it's like extreme underwater fitness and nutrition, or it's this tribe permaculture. Oh yeah, the crazy permaculture in Costa Rica. Resort. Or it's a one all in like yeah, you could have done that in like two minutes. I love her. I love you. And I do talk in circles and I do talk yes. in metaphors and that's if you really look at the source of life, trust me, it'll probably end up in a circle, not a square or a line. Or a spiral or a vortex. So yeah, I do that. I do that. It, it's a great. It's a great combination. Some people want to have everything laid out to them, A, B, C, D, E, where they don't have to think about anything and it's all figured out for them. And some people want to figure it out as they go. So I, uh, I like, I like seeing both sides of that coin and watching it rotate to where a flat surface looks like a circle spinning. Oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta like. Hey okay. Tyler, Paul. All right, anyone, <laughs> anyone else want to say anything before we cut this off? Uh, yeah, Tyler, are you down here in Encinitas? Daniel, another another powerful animal on the on the line here. Mason, he's personal messaging me like that. Double V's, Naga Vivek, Pavan Vasuki. Can you believe that's one of my roommates' names? And he's on here, and he's a doctor along with a lot of my other roommates. Basically, no excuse. There's one for every. Oh yeah, here it go. Speak the truth. Speak the truth, power woman. She when she speaks, it matters. <laughs> Say it. I was Say just saying, it. Basically, this time there is there is no excuse. Whatever you're interested in, there is an event for you. Getting ready for hurricane, that's priority. And uh, yeah, if you're getting ready, if you're leaving the hurricane, JP's leaving it. He went back to his uh, family up there in the Midwest or Middle America. But you can just come yeah, out here instead. No, not digging the beard. I am. Oh uh, yeah! Oh there. yeah! Let's get a little comment on that before we nah, go. Nah. Deanna is I, so powerful. She typically, whenever I start growing the beard, she starts acting a little less sexually attracted to me. So then, inevitably, that's obviously uh, very power, important for me because look at her. Just look at her. That and uh, so sometimes that beard work. it goes. But you need. And see, what do you no. guys think? Let's let's hear. Yeah, we got, yeah. Let's hear from some ladies because I know. Let's put it this way. When I was in middle school, listen to this, I had an afro, right? Mm -hmm. in or high school, I had a huge afro, and the teacher was like, and she actually did a survey. She's like, all right, raise your hand if you want Daniel to keep the beard. All the guys were like, yeah, or to keep the hair. All the guys were like, yeah, and then uh, all the girls were like, so it's an interesting thing not to live up to the expectations of the feminine. I know, Maybe but the opposite sex that. is usually, I mean, I imagine that's what you want to be 
of who you want to be appealing to, unless there's something that the opposite sex is I'm you. Missing. I want to be appealing to you. I know, while but I'm living my best life in possible. In general, Samson, so Bible. if all the all the guys might like it, but what does that do for you? Your mouth smells like celery. I didn't. I had pomegranate. It's nice. Yeah, like a good fresh celery juice. <laughs> Laurie, anyway. come, come on down and let's play some crystal bowls, baby. <laughs> Beard is man's face. Be proud. Be your face. No, I'm not. I'm personally not. It looks a little like pubish now. It's like a little getting a little wild. Exactly. I don't like that. Exactly. Maybe uh, it'll remind you of what's down there. I would like uh, your presence for my video that I'm about to shoot. Okay, Timothy, can you say that again? Yeah, I would like you to turn your video off so we can shoot a live video on my I face right now. I did, but I decided like I wanted Daniel in it, so. I actually just shot it and deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give you one last view of the oceanfront home here, and then if you're really stoked on this communication and you want to continue it, are you going on your personal Facebook page, Timothy? Yeah, man. Check out Timothy Robra on Facebook, and then uh, pretty soon, let me show you. I gotta, I gotta show you where I sleep. Though. Let's uh, look at this. Look, check this out. Check this out. This is where Arias sleeps. That's hers. But check out that bed, and I get to wake up in the morning, and I get to like. Open my eyes and I'm like, mm, yeah, the waves look good. Let me go uh, do some breathing exercises and go uh, surfing without my wetsuit and see how alive I can feel. I encourage you guys to do that same thing. It doesn't have to necessarily be polar plunging and wet, wet, wet suitless surfing, but find that niche, find that spot where you feel fully alive and do more of that. Peace. I'm going live. <laughs> He's going live.